hi guys I am back in Ohio a lot sooner than I thought I would be like most college students my semester has been moved to online classes for the rest of the semester which especially sucks because I'm a senior so I just wanted to do a little check-in about my life since all of this coronavirus outbreak madness has been happening and check in with you guys as well. I hope that everyone is safe and all of your loved ones are safe and that you guys are being responsible and having a healthy level of calm during all of this panic. It's definitely difficult. So basically a week ago actually, which is crazy that it's only been a week, my university announced that they were going to do online classes through April 13th. So this is my spring break and then they're basically extending our spring break into what they call a study week so that teachers have an extra week to figure out how they're going to do online classes because I go to art school, I go to Parsons and I all my classes are like studio based. It's very like collaborative effort like show work, make work, that sort of things. So I don't really know how those classes are going to be online. And then there's just been a lot of rumors that New York is going to be locked down within the next week or so and I just personally don't want to be in New York when something like that happens. It's already like I left on Thursday night and like Tuesday, Wednesday, like the grocery stores are already completely bare there and like everyone's freaking out everywhere but it's like it's just such a dense place. There's so many people everyone's rushing to like the few grocery stores it's like I get stressed out grocery shopping in New York on like a normal day because the grocery stores are so crowded and scary so I, I knew I was not gonna fare well there and my dad called me like Monday night and was like you should really consider coming home especially because you don't have to be back in the city for another month at this point and at the time I was like yeah okay but that also feels really dramatic but then by the time Thursday rolled around I realized that things were like very bad and I looked into getting a flight home but I wanted to bring Charlotte my cat and I realized that you have to call the airline to actually bring your cat I used to have it registered as an emotional support animal but all her paperwork expired and the airlines all had like a six plus hour wait time and I was scared that by the time I actually got a hold of someone, like, I wasn't going to be able to leave. So my mom helped me get a hold of the rental car service at Newark Airport. And I actually just rented a car and drove home to Cincinnati, Ohio, which was, I can't believe I actually did that. I was, I've always been really scared of driving on the highways. Like, I don't think I got on the highway for, like, a year after I got my driver's license when I was 16. It was, like, a 10-hour drive, but I didn't drive all the way through. I stopped at a hotel because I left at, like, 11 p.m. Thursday night, and I think I stopped at a hotel around, like, 4 a.m. on that night slash Friday morning. I got home at about 7 the next day. It wasn't that bad of a drive, it was really boring. Um, Charlotte did okay with it, she was just in her little carrier. She didn't like make a big fuss or anything, I was actually really proud of her. So as of yesterday, all of my classes are now online only for the rest of the semester, which I just don't know how that's gonna go, and it hasn't been confirmed, but it's very likely that my class is not gonna have our thesis show. We're supposed to have this like big gallery show where everyone puts up their senior thesis work. We're also supposed to have this like portfolio review day for seniors where all these people come in from the industry and you have like a bunch of meetings with people and like a lot of people get jobs from it, whatever. So that stuff's like not happening now. So my whole class is feeling very frustrated. Like I just, like all of the stuff that we were looking forward to in our senior year is very likely not happening right now. And the department is talking and we're gonna try to like figure out like some Thing that we can do to like show our work and like have people actually see our work because like the gallery show is just another way that people get jobs and it's also just like a really cool like here's what I've been doing for the past four years and I was going to do this whole like interactive installation thing which I was really excited about and we're probably not going to have a graduation ceremony either because I mean like all gatherings of over like I think it's down to like 125 people are now banned in New York so like obviously like two months from now the likelihood of us being able to have a graduation ceremony is very slim 
It definitely sucks a lot. I was actually really enjoying this semester and like hanging out with people a lot and getting like very out of my shell and I just had like a lot of great things happening and a lot of things that I was looking forward to. So I'm really hoping that all the preventative measures that are being taken are actually going to be helping people. It is a little frustrating because I'm still seeing like people crowded on the beaches and people like going to bars and things and I'm like okay cool so my entire year, senior year of college has basically been cancelled to try to help keep people from getting sick and you're just going out and you're probably spreading this virus anyways that's been really frustrating for me to see like I'd feel a lot better about it if like everyone was being respectful about the social isolation social isolation that's so hard to say it is what it is like there's not really anything I can do about it a lot of like I don't know what I'm doing now because I was obviously planning on moving back to Ohio in May and uh getting an apartment and everything but this is now like the absolute worst time to be like getting a job so i don't know like what sort of apartment i can get because i'm i don't know if i'm going to be able to get a job this summer like i don't know what i'm doing right now and yeah and i was going to be in florida for vacation with my family this week my dad's still there because he got there before the rest of my family but he's hopefully coming back within the next week or so and my sister my mom and i all decided not to go because we're not like you're not really supposed to do any non-essential travel right now then there was also the trip that my family was supposed to take to germany in may which we have canceled because the likelihood of us being able to go to germany two months from now is just it's not happening like we've already accepted that it's not happening so yeah no clue what i'm doing right now i am taking um some level of responsibility i haven't really gone out my mom and i went grocery shopping to stock up a little bit we didn't go crazy but we have like enough to make food for like a week or two if we do end up having to stay in the house which i mean we haven't really been going out anyways and i i'm not seeing any of like i'm not seeing my grandma or anything for at least two weeks because that's how long it can possibly take to show symptoms if you do have the virus and as someone who just came from a city like it's very likely that i am carrying it so i'm kind of just avoiding contact with everyone right now and i don't know what the next couple of weeks are going to bring it's going to be a lot of hanging out at my house I don't have class for a week and a half. I don't know how my online classes are gonna go and I'm only in three classes, so it's not gonna take up a whole lot of my time. Um, maybe I'll film a lot of makeup tutorials again. I did just film a look on this eyeshadow today, so hopefully that'll be up sometime in the next week. I'll probably be playing a lot of Animal Crossings and Sims and watching a lot of Vampire Diaries and making a lot of TikToks and Maybe this will just be like a fun little vacation for me and uh, I have Charlotte here and we've just been hanging out so yeah that's my life update and I'm sure you guys all have some shit that has happened to you because of this virus outbreak as well so feel free to leave me a comment down below complaining about whatever it is that has been disrupted in your life because of this and you're totally like this is a space where you can complain i've seen like a lot of people be like oh like you can't complain about how this is affecting your life because people are dying from this and i'm like well no because they're actually most of us have the emotional capacity to feel empathy for other people but also feel angry about the inconveniences in our own life so feel free to complain here and if i see anyone yelling at you for your complaining i will block them don't worry I don't really know how to wrap this up. Just wanted to do a check-in. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video which will be whenever I film the second part of this eyeshadow tutorial. Bye guys!